Hey Gemini, it's Empress Rose here. Welcome to your reading. These are general readings, so we take what works and we leave what doesn't, as with everything in life. Um, and if I don't catch your wavelength on this reading, check your other major placements. Major placements are Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So, um, oh yes, that's right. We're going to start with the um, Oracle, my Monster Oracle deck of Moonology mixed with, um, uh, mixed with work your light and then we're going to move to the golden tarot for more traditional spread all right let's see here what do we have all right gemini your hard work is paying off new moon in capricorn so whatever you've been working on it's paying off and work through your fears new moon in scorpio so the new moon in Capricorn. So you're where this is about something in reality, some sort of actual project, not just like psyche work or anything like that. This is your hard work is paying off. Um, and then working through your fears, new moon in Scorpio, understanding uh, what terrifies you and working with it, working with that, um, coming to some sort of understanding. Are you afraid of success? Are you afraid of this working out? in exactly the way you thought it would not unheard of not uncommon um are you afraid it's not going to work off well that's something to explore if it's not going to work out you know why did you put all that work into it i mean that's one thing i think about parenting it reminds me of parenting because it's like um you cannot judge your parenting based on how your child turns out because at some point they are solely responsible for their own lives, for what they do, for their expenditures of their time and money and energy and love. And they're solely responsible for that much in the way you are solely responsible for that. Um, there's a shifting. So, so when you're parenting, you parent the way you want. You don't parent for the results. Um, you parent um, in a way that makes you happy, in a way where you feel like you've done what you wanted to do here with with, with this, this thing. So there's a lot of things in life where I think we need to, where we do that, we, we do it not for the result. I mean, obviously we're headed towards the result, but it's not solely for the result. It's in, it's in line with our own heart, in line with our own intuition, in line with what we wanted to do. You know, how do you want to parent? Not what parenting do experts say gets the result that you want but how does it feel good how do you want to relate to your child how do you want to relate to other people it may not get the result that you want but but you're following your heart and you're doing your part and you're sort of in a way in your lane because how they turn out and how a situation turns out is out of your hands and it should be how they turn out is their lane it's their what they want um so there's this is a metaphor for all sorts of situations we can we can get into we can um uh someone was talking recently about teaching to the test right um and and it just brings little joy to both the teacher and the student to teach to the test to the end result to what you want to do and it makes sense to say okay yeah i'd like it if you turned out to be a, a functional emotionally healthy person um but i'm not I, i'm going to relate to you um, as if that's already a given and then we'll have our relationship the way it is. So you want to, so that's what I mean by your hard work is paying off and work through your fears. What if this being doesn't, or this thing doesn't turn out the way you want it to, are you still going to be okay? Yes, you are. Um, if it turns out not the way you want it to, or not, not, not how you want it, or even if it turns out exactly how you want it, are you going to be okay? You are, you are, especially you need to be able to look back and say like, well, I feel, um, I feel like, yeah, I feel like I, I, I did what I could. I did, I did, I followed my heart. I did what I thought was right. Um, come what may. So, um, so that's a little bit of what those two cards are talking to me about. Oh my God. And answer the call. <laughs> I didn't even, uh, uh, what is your soul calling you to do? Yeah. Fuck the results. Your hard work is going to pay off somehow, but you gotta, you know, really answer what is, how, how is your soul calling you to interact with the situation? Um, thinking much less about, you know, teaching for the test or, or getting an A on the exam or having it turn out a specific way. Are you in your own energy? Are you doing this? Will you be proud no matter what turns out? Will you be proud of the way you behaved and what you did no matter how it turns out? 
whatever you're afraid of, you know, make sure your hard work is, is about you and is about what you want to bring to the situation. It's not, it's saying it's going to pay off, but you're going to have to work through some fear, fears and make sure you're following your own, your own heart and your own soul and are proud of, of how you got there. So, uh, let's see here. Tuber rose. My goodness, Gemini. Uh, dangerous pleasure. The secret of reaping the greatest fruitfulness and the greatest enjoyment from life is to live dangerously. Tuber rose. Um, I love this. This is probably my favorite card in the whole botanical because it's so fascinating and interesting. Um, it was, um, the Victorians believed it was an extremely uh, sexual plant. And then this ended up uh, being borne out by science studying the plant. Um, it produces an entirely different scent at night than it does during the day. So ooh la la. And then um, also the scent it produces contains the exact same chemicals our skin produce uh, when we orgasm. So it's a very sensual, uh, sexual card here. Dangerous pleasure. Well, no wonder you're having some fears. There's some, something here going on. All right, Gemini, I keep thinking of you as Capricorn, which is really funny because, and I didn't realize it because, so there could be some Capricorn energy. Oh, it's this uh, new moon in Capricorn here that's making me think you are a Capricorn. Because Capricorn got two burrows a while back a couple times. All right, now we're moving to the Golden Tarot for a more traditional spread. Gemini, this is your past, your present, your inner landscape, what's at issue, your environment, your to-do list, and your possible outcome. Okay, we have the Seven of Wands energy in your recent past, uh, defending something. And this could have been being uh, defensive, um, being defensive about something, possibly this dangerous pleasure, uh, being defensive about something to, or having to defend an idea, having to defend a concept, having to fight for what you believed in. You had the higher ground, so it was just uh, naysayers and people... Um, that didn't believe in your vision or in your plan. You stood your ground though um, in the recent past and whatever conflict this was, whatever uh, naysayers or ideas or, or yeah came at you, uh, you stood your ground. In your current situation, you have this devil energy. So this is going to be um, anything that separates you from your freedom to follow your heart to follow your soul, to follow whatever it's calling you to do. So it's typically seen as addiction. It can be obsession. Um, it can be uh, entrapment in any kind of um, habitual behavior, in any kind of um, situation where you're feeling trapped and you're not feeling free to follow your heart and you're not feeling free to follow your soul. This could be this fear that we're talking about, sort of a paralyzing fear that's keeping you from answering what your soul is calling you to do uh, but you you have done hard work it looks like almost this might be the hard work that's going to eventually pay off good grief fascinating okay i'm gonna my deck's got some reversals and some re-reversals and we just had this with taurus with cards being the uh wacky but um but but that's that's cool because um there are no mistakes in tarot so or anywhere else really although it's really hard to believe that it's sort of a matter of faith that i attempt to have so there are no mistakes and there's no way we can get out we out of the overall sort of plan or idea here so um but you're feeling bedeviled by something in your current situation there's something that's preventing movement that's preventing you from moving forward uh, most of our demons are within um, addiction obsession um, but sometimes we can be in a situation that is genuinely entrapping us and holding us back. So there is something that's preventing you from following your heart or feels like it's preventing you from following your heart or you perceive it as preventing you from following your heart, but it not might actually be. Um, and then we have uh, your hopes and fears, your inner landscape, what's going on in your psyche is queen of coins. This is... Um, hoping maybe you're hoping to really be able to focus on your work focus on money focus on climbing some sort of you know corporate ladder or earnings uh ladder or something increasing your earnings but it's a focus and a dedication so you could be thinking about or wanting to focus on something else but something's holding you back something's interfering with that you'd like to focus on your money on your material world um on uh 
on making progress, um, on, on saving money or earning money. It has to do with your money and your relationship with money. Uh, so you're really thinking about that. You'd like to dedicate more to that, but you could be being, it seems like this devil might have something to do with finances or financial issues, or, or it could be something that's distracting you from your work, from your career, and you'd like to be more focused, but you're being pulled someplace else. Maybe this is about what's your soul calling you to do, you know, career wise or for money, but you've got some sort of blockage here, uh, possibly, probably coming from within, um, that's making that that you'd like to get more focused you'd like to get more focused on work and career but there's something going on here that's um preventing you from from um doing this i mean we have this hard work paying off too so this is this is an earth sign the queen of coins is an earth um so hard work she's thinking about her hard work she's thinking about maybe that's what you're thinking about is when is all my hard work going to pay off when am i you know i've stood my ground i've defended myself i've gone after something um th this could be what is your soul calling you to do as well because uh this is really like standing your ground an intuitive ground like a passion this is my passion this is what i want to do so if you don't think i should do this fuck off so that's a little bit of what your soul is calling you to do it looks like you might have found it and like been defending it and now you might be thinking about when's the payoff when do i move up when do i move forward but there's something here there's this devil energy here that's blocking it um what's at issue here is the lovers card so the lovers is about a choice uh, choosing to live a life of love, choosing to live in hope instead of fear. And we have this work through your fears. This is a choice, but it's not being made. I see a lot of like, there, there you had at one point you were, um, you did make a choice to follow um, uh, your own intuition and your own creative vibe here. Some things come in that's disruptive and disrupting that. You might be thinking about going back to a more stable career or something like that, but the, the choice hasn't been made. So, so this is between uh, what makes sense and what's, what you're passionate about. Uh, choosing between those two things, either or you chose what makes sense instead of what you're passionate about because life's too short to not choose what you're passionate about. So the lover's card really asks an interesting question. It is about choices and the, and it is about decisions. And that question is, you know, what would your life look like if you were only ruled by love? If you only went with what you wanted, with what, what aroused passion in you, this dangerous pleasures. I think this is what we're talking about. You're being forced with some, and it doesn't have to be sexual. It just has to be uh, passionate, impassioned. And you're either refusing to make the decision or you keep making the wrong decision and going for something very stable, very secure, when in fact you need to be going towards love and you need to be going towards something. So, or the choice has been taken for you, from you right now. That could also be, that could be this devil energy. That choice is not yours right now. You still need to keep it in focus, but it's not yours. There's also this dangerous pleasure. There's these fears. There's the question the lovers have of, are you going to live in hope or are you going to live in fear? Are you going to live a, a boxed in life by what other people think you should do? Or are you going to live a more expansive life, the life that your soul is calling you to do? So what is your soul calling to you to do? Answer the call. It looks like you actually haven't answered the call or you're stalled in answering the call or something's preventing you from answering the call. But this is all forming to me into some sort of decision or choice between um, being living in hope, living a life of love and passion, um, even if it's dangerous, even if it's a little bit reckless, um, and living a life in fear and worry and concern and what others are going to think and is this going to turn out. So you've done a lot of work, but you could be sliding back into um, more fear, more worry, uh, living a life of fear instead of living a life of love, which is what the lovers is in reverse is going to be about, is, is being more having chosen fear, having chosen fear of what other people think, having chosen limitations imposed upon you. Um, or because of this double card, it looks like you may be in a situation where the choice isn't quite as free as you want it to be or doesn't feel very free. Um, 
what's going on in your environment showed up as a reversal, uh, which normally it wouldn't be. Wheel of Fortune. This is bad luck. There's just been some bad luck. You you stood your ground. You did what you needed to do. You went with your passions. There's just been some turns of events that are not in your favor. That's all that's happened. There's been some some turn of events that's not, and it can make it seem like that choice to to live in love, to live in hope instead of fear was stupid, was ridiculous, shouldn't have been done, um, that pleasures are dangerous, following our passions is dangerous, is a horrible idea, but it's just been things outside of, I mean, this couldn't be more about things outside of your control. And that's the devil energy too, things outside of your control, things preventing your movement forward. Um, this is reverse so it's in your externals it's what's going on around you right so already we have something external to you that's really not you're not in charge of um, and we have um, wheel of fortune which is also all about externals that we can't control you know bad luck good luck thing all that stuff that's out of our control that we call luck all that stuff that we don't understand we prepare for bad luck um, with savings and and uh, uh, strong um, emotional strength and we prepare for good luck by being prepared for the things that we want to happen to make, making sure we're being disciplined in our preparations for when the opportunity that we would like comes in that kind of thing and it's showing up in reverse which is like there's been some bad luck and it's not been your fault uh you've you've stood your ground you've prepared you've tried to make the right choice here you've tried to live in hope but this bad luck i think has you back in your fears back in in feeling that um this life of love and and passion is not going to work out for you your to-do list is to keep fighting. You got nine of wands here, wounded warrior, heading back out there, heading back into the fight, um, feeling worthy of this win. Um, not worthy, but this this is like, yes, feeling worthy of the win. You've put in the hard work. Go back out there. One more time. Try it one more time. Go back out there. Your hard work is paying off and nothing could be clearer than getting this nine of wands here in your to-do list, Gemini. Uh, your hard work is paying off. Give it one more shot. Give it one more shot. Um, you, you are wounded. You're exhausted. You're tired. You've fought. You've had bad luck. But do it again. One more time. Go back out there. Put yourself out there one more time. The wounded warrior, it, this is a beautiful acknowledgement from the universe that yes, you've been through it. Yes, it's been hard. Yes, it's been difficult. You are, Yes, you're tired. You're tired for a reason. There's no nobody the universe isn't like gosh what's wrong with you the universe is like yeah yeah anybody would be tired and exhausted in this situation but go back out there follow your intuition go with your passion this is wands right go with that passion go out there one more time um you know even though you're wounded even though you're hurt even though you have these doubts and your fears you need to face them you need to work through them and you need to go with this passion with this pleasure the wands would be about pleasure about passion about intuition uh go with that one more time take that take that one more time try it again try it again and then where you i mean there's three wands here so definitely we're talking about passion uh intuition um inspiration that kind of thing and where you're going is five of wands <laughs> it's like go back out there and then um and then it's like and fight once more fight again stick to your guns this is absolutely stick to your guns you have seven of wands back here you've already been sticking to your guns you know how this goes your to-do list is stick to your guns again you're tired you're wounded and then your five of wands is like yeah and other people are going to be sticking to their guns too or whatever that even means now i've said it too many times it's lost its meaning so this five of wands yeah there could be conflict yeah, I mean, this is the wounded warrior. We're not saying the wounded retiree. We're saying the wounded warrior. We're saying you have to go back and fight again and fight again. You will. There will be another contest of wills. There will be another battle. You're wounded. You're tired, but it's worth it. It's worth it. The, it's hard work is paying off. It's worth it to keep fighting for this. It's worth it to keep going. Um, and yeah, you are going to have to keep fighting for it. Sorry, but this is a dangerous pleasure. Yeah, but it's worth it. It's going to be worth it. So that's your reading. We're going to go with um, this Quan Yin, one of these puppies. I should say yaks, one of these little yaks. All right. Yes, babe. I love it. 
Yeah, we got a dry riverbed here. This is what this is feeling like. You are a dry riverbed. Um, you have been bedeviled by something that has depleted your energy and probably your enthusiasm. But you're going to live to fight another day. You live to fight another day. And here we have um, Oasis of Hope. The successes that seem impossible are all the more precious for their unlikelihood. These are reminders of divine power, the triumph of hope, of winning against the odds. I've seen that. Yeah, the odds are way stacked against you here. Um, remember that life thrives hidden even in the desert. Do not give up hope. Believe in the inevitability of your beautiful destiny. And this is a dry riverbed. And what's the dry riverbed waiting for? The river. It's going to come. It's not losing its shape. It's, it's going to come. Your hard work is paying off. Uh, so your fear that it's not going to pay off, it is. It's going to pay off. Um, do not give up hope. Believe in the inevitability of your beautiful destiny. So, all right, don't give up hope. I think that probably sums up this whole reading, Gemini. Thank you so much for your likes and your comments and subscribes. I very much appreciate them.